All right, Shalom Israel. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechai HaKudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the teacher, rule well, and labor in 100% doctrine, how I learned this truth from according to the Bible. I am the Akim HaAmayan, and I would like to say Shalom unto the hopeful elect pushing the truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers and a few aqua, I would like to say Shalom. Okay, this is a true um, depiction of um, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world incorrectly and ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Okay, this is how he looks according to the Bible. Okay. And um, I will start the lesson off, open up the lesson with the scripture, John chapter 8, St. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Okay. The truth of the Bible, man. The truth of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Not the truth of uh, what this devil Esau Edom, so called white man, has gave us, man. Which is which are which are lies. Okay. Matthew chapter ten. And verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. That's the truth. The Lord is not coming back to be our Jalin, oh, uh, hugs. The Lord is coming back with vengeance, man. He's watching daily, all day, all night, man. Okay. Let me get that a precept or. I'm going to say it's. Bear with me. Bear with me. So like it. Um, it's so like I found the Wadi Habashima Shabashim Krakadash for the Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach chapter 23. Because, man, the Lord, uh, Matthew 10 34 said, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I, I came not to send peace, but a sword. And people think the Lord ain't watching, man. Okay. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 23, verse 18. A man that break a wet lot, saying, dust in, his, dust in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The most high will not remember my sins. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts, man. Okay. The Lord is watching, man. The Lord is watching, man. Verse 21. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he suspected not, he shall be taken. Oh, like you. Okay, going back into Matthew 10, verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against his mother, against her mother, and the daughter-in-law, Against 
her mother-in-law, okay? A man fold and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. This is the truth. This is what okay, the false prophets are not teaching the the your lo your leaders, local leaders, world leaders. They're not teaching you this. They're not telling you that the Lord is not uh the Lord is not coming to send peace, man. But a sword, man. And it's twofold, man, because that's not peace. If the Lord is coming to set man variance, set man that varies against his father, okay? And also, the Lord is coming back to kill, man, okay? The Lord is coming back to kill, man. He said, oh, so lucky. Isaiah 66. In verse 15, and it reads, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashamah Shabbat, come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword, there go that word sword, will the Lord plead with our flesh and the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashamah Shabbat, shall be many. Okay. Strong's H, 1606. Ge'ara. Ge'ara. Okay. It say rebuke, meaning reproof, man. Correcting you. The Lord, this is how the Lord going to correct you, man, with fire. Okay. His chair is like a whirlwind. The Lord, it say Isaiah 66 and 15, for behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chair is like a whirlwind to render his anger, his anger with fury. And he rebuke with flames of fire, man. Because 200 million missiles are going to hit this place of America. Little do you know, 200 million missiles are going to hit this place of America. Also known as Babylon. Okay. <clears throat> that virgin. And spiritually, uh, Babylon, Sodom, Egypt. Okay. Let's get Amos. And this is the truth, man. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You need to know these things, man. You need to know what's coming. You need to know that the Lord is not playing. You need to know that the Lord is only uh, dealing with the nation of Israel, and inside of Israel is only a remnant, man. The Lord is punishing and judging, bringing Mashapatim, the Hebrew word for judgment. He's bringing judgment on this place, man. Judgment on his people. Okay? Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. Okay, the Lord is going to punish two-thirds of his own people. The Lord chastises us, man. Okay, Lord willing, we be a part of the hopeful elect. Lord willing, I myself be a part of that number. I know the Lord be whooping my butt. Okay, but the Wadi, how about Shemal Shah? You got to examine yourself. I have to examine myself. I got to prove myself daily to the Lord, man. Okay? This is not no game. This is not a game. Okay? We don't use the scripture to destroy nobody, man. To build you up, correct you, reprove you, man. So you can align yourself up with the requirements of what the Lord, how about Shemal Shah, how he want us to be, how he need us to be. How he commanded us to be, man. <coughs> okay. And once again, this is a, a depiction of how the Lord looked, man. Not no curly hair, pale skin, Edomite, man. No. Our Lord um, is from the tribe of Judah. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sp uh, sprang out of the tribe of Judah, man. Okay. Um. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Okay, a wise man will hear, man. Okay, St. John chapter 8 verse 32, it says, uh, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So you got to take heed. You got to take heed, man. Verse 7, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. It's not for the fools. Okay. That's why Wisdom of Solomon, 
chapter one and verse um verse four. It says, For unto a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject unto sin, man. Okay, because wisdom is too high for a fool. Okay, wisdom is too high for a fool, man. The Lord is on dealing with the meek. The Lord is on dealing with the meek, man. And why people think it's crazy to be doing what, what we're doing, worshiping Yahweh Shemar Shai in our sincerity and truth, man. Um, <clears throat> hold that thought, okay? Enjoy your folly, man, because riches profit not in the day of wrath. Your guns, your gold, your jewelry, your houses, things like that are not going to save you, man. You got to come back and serve your by Shemar Shai. Okay, come back and seek the Lord, man. Why you, why, um, before I bring this out, Isaiah 55. I keep doing this so I can type them too fast. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Because it's going to come a time where the Lord is not going to be able to be found, man. The Lord is not going to be, um, the, the men of the Lord is not going to be on the street corners. These this this internet that you're uh, not taking advantage of, you're abusing your liberty, or your liberty, shall like you. The Lord is not going to be uh, able to be called on upon, man. Only the hopeful elect will have that hedge of protection, man. Only the hopeful elect will have that hedge, man, because they're suffering now. They're choosing to suffer now, okay. They're going through the straight gate now, knowing that we're about to go through the hardest time in our life. This big test in Jacob's trouble, man. The rest of the uh, nation of Israel, the two-thirds, they're not doing that, man. They're not considering. They're not understanding the truth, okay? Even though we know it's a stumbling block, but guess what? You will be judged, man. You will be judged, man. Okay? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Isaiah 55 and 6, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon, man. Okay? You want to return unto Yahweh Shemar Shai. Because in the book of Baruch, um, it says, For it was your mind to go astray. So you got to seek the Lord 10 times more, man. It don't stop. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So people say they repent, they repent. But are you being converted? Are you putting it, putting it into action? Okay. You got to put it in action, man. You got to stop doing things. Repent ye, in there. Repent ye therefore and, and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which was before you, which was which before was preached unto you, man. Okay. <clears throat> now going into Zephaniah chapter one, verse twelve, and it reads, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. And punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, The Lord Yahweh Shemar will not do good, neither will he do evil, man. Okay? And the Lord is going to do that, man. Judgment will happen at the house of the Most High first, man. Um, so, like you for butchering that scripture, Amos chapter 9 and verse 10, it reads, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Because our people are settled on their leaves, man. Everything they done accumulated and possess and hold on to, they're, they're settled on it, man. They don't want Babylon to fall down. They don't want, they want Trump. They miss Donald Trump. They miss, they love this place, man. They love, they love filth. They enjoy filth. They brag on suffering. Okay, the house of fools, man. Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiastes, Salaki. And verse 2 It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is 
the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. It says, um, sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. There's nothing wrong with watching the football game, basketball game. But what is more important, man? Seeking salvation or being caught up on this world, okay? The passion of this world, fa pa the, the fashion of this world passeth the way, man. That's why verse 7 says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart, okay? Okay, once again, St. John chapter 8. Verse 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You need to know these things, man. Okay. And I end the lesson off with uh, I, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Okay. This is the whole duty of man, man. Fear the Lord, man. Judgment is finna be on the rise, man. Fear Yahweh by Shemal Shah to the best of your ability. Fear, man. People don't consider, Israelites don't consider, they don't have no conscience. They talk smack, they scoff, they mock. They want to kill the prophets. They want to do evil things to us, man, because ultimately they would hate the Lord, man. But it's all good because the Lord got you in a trick bag and you will not go unpunished, man. Okay, so Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson, Israel. I would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah HaKudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine, how learn this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and his sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers in a few Akwaf, I would like to say Shalom. Okay. Babakasha, 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 Abad Baba, Kwam Yasha Allah Barak Kal Akim, Abad Baba, Shalom.